Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in this video I'll be talking to you about how to fix crashing of the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare on PC. So when I click play from Battle.net, nothing happens or occasionally I will see like 3 seconds of opening cinematic and the game will crash. This is a problem reported by one of the user on official Activision support. So the solution I'll be providing to you in this video are not my original. They are just some solutions posted by some users on this Activision support. So all the credit goes to the users who have posted their answer. So I hope they work for you because they work for most of the user but not all of the users. So I hope they work for you. So now let's get started with them. So this user reported that she had around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8 to 9 workarounds, troubleshooting steps to fix this problem. So let's read them one by one and I'll show you how to do them also. So first is update graphic card drivers. So keep your graphic card up to date, download the latest update and install them, restart your PC and then try running the game. And I expect that if you are watching this video, video then you are a gamer and you might know how to update your graphic card driver. But still if you have any doubt write in the comment section, I will guide you through the process. Now the second step is run battle.net in admin mode. So this is the battle.net file, you just have to right click on it and run as administrator before running the game. If this also doesn't work, proceed to the third step. Make sure battle.net is up to date. So also keep your battle.net up to date by checking for update time to time. Fourth one is scan and repair game files via battle.net's repair tool. So scan and repair game files. Once you have downloaded your modern war, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, scan and repair its game files in battle.net's repair tool. Once you have done so, let's proceed to the next step. Turn off any optimization process programs like GeForce Experience. So this step is not that important. I don't think so. This should have been here because it doesn't do anything to your computer. So the next step is add an exception for modern warfare on your antivirus program. So this is a really important step. So I won't be showing it for each and every antivirus because different PCs have different antivirus. So I'll be showing it to you the default antivirus of Windows that is Windows Defender. Just search on your search bar Defender and click on this virus and threat protection. And then go to virus and threat protection settings and click on manage settings. And here as you can see, here is the exclusion tab, here click on add or remove exclusion and here add an exclusion for the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You just have to select its folder and it will be added as an exclusion. Now let's proceed to the next step. Uninstall your antivirus program if you have any other than Windows Defender. Then run Modern Warfare, test it and then reinstall the antivirus program afterwards. So you can also try it but what I think is adding an exception will work so you don't have to do this. And the last thing is uninstall and reinstall the game. This is not the last workaround, there are more, but let's complete it first. Uninstall and reinstalling the game. So I have been talking to many users from two days. So the, for most of the users, this step worked. Uninstalling and reinstalling the game worked for most of the users and they didn't face any crash after that. But if you are still facing this problem, then there are some more workarounds. And here it is. This is the last workaround. And this worked for many users too. So this user wrote mine was closing because I had auto hotkey running. So someone wrote I tried closing auto hot hotkey and even uninstalling it didn't work. But the other user wrote thank you this was the reason mine was not working. So if you don't know how to uninstall auto hotkey I'll guide you through the process again. So you just have to go to add or remove program. Search add or remove programs. And here search for auto hotkey. As I don't have auto hotkey present in my computer so you will see an option if you have auto hotkey like this as in this image you can see auto hotkey just you have to just click on uninstall and then again click on uninstall and this setup will be there in front of you again click on uninstall and this auto hotkey will be uninstalled and it also works for most of the users so please try doing that too so I hope any one of the workarounds I have shown you to you in this video works for you and if it doesn't, please write in the comment section. I'll work more on this topic. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.